Welcome to the Volcano Islands, and this is episode one of a new series of Factory Town gameplay, a game of settlement building and automation that launched on Steam on the 12th of March. Uh, you may have seen my previous quick look at the game from the pre-launch version, but we're going to start fresh here, after a bit of practice that I've had, um, and this will be on a Volcano Island style map, which should make things very difficult indeed, because of the lack of space if nothing else. Right, let's have a look at this. Hmm. We need to be near stone, we need to be near wood, and wheat. Later on we'll be able to buy new tracts of land for a thousand quid, um, that increases in cost every time you buy a new bit of land. Um, but now we just need somewhere that's very resourceful. Mana crystal, mana shards over there. So I've had a lot more practice since last time I played it, um, and I know quite a lot of stuff like them. You have to do a lot of research, but eventually you will be able to get it so that you can replant f um, wheat and make, well, replant tr trees as well, um, very efficiently indeed. You basically get, once you've actually got to forestry, you get free wood, and that's really rather wonderful. But for now, all the resources will deplete. I'm going to start a base over here, I think just because this is a bit compact and it's got everything that we need so we don't go too mad. Let's get some grain. Let's get some wood. Um, there's only a few trees here. Let's clear out the trees for later on. It's the best way of just getting rid of stuff by actually using it up and then we'll be able to expand. We've got coal, which is nice, um, along with iron ore that will allow us to get iron plates later on, which is very useful for, well, slightly later game stuff. There's a lo lovely little bit of wheat just on the very edge of things. Also, look at that. Look at that crev. A wet crev at that. Right, so at the moment I'm gathering wood is the main priority because I need to get up to 15 or more so I can build another house to attract new people to my settlement. It's going very slow at the moment. There's not much... Yeah, the wood thing. It's going to take a while. Maybe what I'll do is I'll reallocate you to there. So I guess we get more wood than, than wheat, and then we'll be able to get some stone, and then blah blah blah. Right, so let's um, let's get that house over there, because it's out the way. Uh, to start with, we'll need to like direct wheat to it, but later on, we won't actually need anyone to go anywhere near the house. Because so long as it's near a market, it will be fed. So I like to keep houses out of the way as much as possible. Anyway, we've already got a lot of cheerful face there. And when, as soon as we get five planks, we'll be able to upgrade that and make even more space. So one of the first things we need to do is make a lumber mill. We also need to make some stone, that, get some stone, otherwise we're not going to get the lumber mill. Right, let's do that. Get everything to the base first. Stock up. Um, I, I shall um, waste a little bit of wood on a little path there, I think. Yeah, it's very expensive paths in the very start. So I've got 33 yellow coins. And that is, I always consider that to be basic currency. Um, it's, the, it's the currency that allows you to um, unlock um, extra space. Uh, but you actually get these coins by selling from various markets to the houses. And the early things, such as, um, well, food and stone or whatever, um, that is only ever yellow coins. Red coins you'll get, you'll, will come onto quite soon. And I've even managed to get as far as blue coins. But you have to start selling things like bandages from an apothecary, and all that needs to be researched. So research is definitely going to be a thing that we need to concentrate on. Anyway, in the meantime, people are just getting busy with their toddling around the place. We can build another house now, because we have the wood. All to the good. We'll probably need another lad to make sure that we have wheat going to there directly. Already feels like we've got a nice little economy up and running. But... Space is going to be at such a bloody premium here. It's not going to be ideal. I think what I'll probably do is put the lumber mill over here near the wood. So let's put it there. Unlocking chutes and things like that. All very nice. Make sure that we are making planks. And so we're going to have a new set of people all coming from this. Oh, I haven't actually got enough wood to do that. This set of trees over here. So what I'll probably do is redirect, once he's dropped that thing off, and I shall redirect him to doing that instead. And the lumber will provide us with planks. And if we want to make bridges, we do need planks. So this is the first step towards that. I was thinking maybe we could go possibly down here. Actually, no, if we want space, I think this is going to be a good area. I'll go over here when I'm... Well, we've got plenty of stone there, but when we need things like... Well, iron ore is probably good. So we'll be able to take iron ore and coal and turn it into 
stuff at the forge. I think nails and iron plates later on. We've got coal there, so uh, we'll find we'll find some exciting automation solution. In fact, this might be a good place to actually do some shoot action. And they all cost us. I think they cost planks, so we have to wait a while for that. So once they get two um, bits of wood, they'll turn into one plank. Uh, so we are starting to fill up the outputs. We haven't actually got anyone taking them away yet. So we probably best bung down a ladder. Oh, we can't. We actually will have to. Um, well, we'll build a house, I think. But we can't upgrade anything at the moment. Let's put that. Can't afford it? Oh yeah, I need one more bit of wood. And... There. Right, okay, so let's bung down a person, bring them... Oh, no, 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 hang on. Missed. The planks need to go to the base. There. Now, we have got, haven't got much enough wood for any paths yet. Look at that, look in there. You actually, the tree's down there somehow. It's rather cool. There's some water stone. Selling books, possibly. Where else have we got... We've got some strange stuff here and there. I think that's for later on. Because there's mana and magic and stuff like that. So there's earth stone and water stone. And mana shards and various other things like that to be found. And we'll be able to find even more stuff as we purchase additional bits of land. We've only got 46 quid though. 46 yellow coins. We need a thousand for that. Right, so have we got any wood yet? Well, not really, no. So what I want to do is flatten that land. Right here. Because it's in the way. Can't really do this a lot at the start because it's some um, cost five quid a pop. But now seems to be a good time. Unusually in these sorts of games, you can actually um, lower and raise terrain underneath these things. It's only structures that prevent you from doing that sort of thing, which is kind of handy. Right, so I can, I can now actually upgrade these houses. Now we've got some planks, so let's do two of them. Oh, I need ten quid. Oh god, I've only got three quid. Holy shit! Okay, that's going to take a while to sort out. Well, at least we've um, given ourselves two more people. I want to get rid of these trees so bad. Although now I've actually got space to build a path, so that's all to the good. That should speed those lads right up. Yeah, how much have we got? We've got 33, 32 left of that and 35 of that. Once they're all um, depleted, they will disappear from the map. And we're, going, we're getting a decent amount of lumber. But not a huge amount. I really want to speed that up a bit. I could use shoots. Now is this one? It is, it's only one plank per thing. So I might be able to get that sped up a bit. Like that. And now these lads... I shall put them in, going directly to the shoot. Which will, yeah, that'll speed things up a lot. Yes, there we go. Minor automation. Later on there'll be conveyor belts. Uh, which are actually, um, to start with in the game, I thought the conveyor belts weren't actually that powerful because they were actually a lot slower than shoots. But then I realised there's a lot of um, stuff that you can do with them that I didn't realise. Um, and it's really rather cool because they can automatically grab only certain things from uh, buildings and stuff like that. They're really quite, really quite powerful. But not yet. Now I've got to the stage where I've actually researched trains. But... If, you have, if you've got a good research thing set up, you actually outstrip everything that you're doing and you end up researching way too much too quickly. So I got to the stage of trains and I hadn't even you know, really got any idea of what to do with them. My settlement wasn't in the right... Oh my god! Um, I think we've been too efficient. Okay, let's allocate an extra worker here. Oh, actually, the, the other problem is that um, there isn't enough people taking the planks to there. Okay, let's get another person. I mean, what I could do is send him, put it, make him take it to a, a closer place, a, a um, barn. But there's really very little room at the moment. Uh, all right, so everything's ticking along. We should be. Can we build a workshop yet? Uh, we can, but we need a bit more money. We've still only got twelve quid. We need to start selling more things to these peasants. I don't think I'm actually taking wheat to that house yet. No. In fact, you're not getting any wheat either. Oh, everyone's going to that one. That's that's a mistake. Hang on. I do want another house, though. Because sooner or later we will want to expand our base. Again, that'll cost money. We need four happiness to expand and we've only got three, so... Once this 
house is happy, we'll be able to expand it. But we will need another person to feed this place. We do need to build a market if we can, but we can't just yet. And we do need to upgrade the base first. So yes, we can see the exact ordering of what we need to do. So at some point, quite soon, this tree is going to disappear and I'll be able to reallocate people, I think. In fact, I'll be doing that now, I think. That one's full up. Okay, you now can do the old granary. You might want to dump that somewhere. Yes, oh, you, you've actually um, thought cleverly went back to base to dump it. I, I'll allow that. Right, so now you're going to get fed, hopefully. Eventually. There we go, now we can upgrade the base. Yes. So we can build more houses, and we can also build that goddamn thing that I was talking about. The workshop. Once we've got 30 quid. So that's going to be a bit of time. Right, so we've made quite a bit of cash. We've got 60 now. And so what I'm going to do is actually build... The first thing we need to, want to do is build that bloody market I was talking about. Food market. I'm going to place it so it just about is in the realm of these houses. So I think I'll put it far away over here somewhere. It's a bit of a strange place, but it'll do. Uh, which will hopefully free up some lads from all this uh, relentless croppery. And what I can do instead is redirect you to go from there to there. You from there to there. You from there to there. And I think I'm going to just dehire you entirely. So we'll be able to feed the thing directly. Once I've done that, these will be supplied with um, with well, food. If you look at the top right, this is what they've got. So you can actually supply them with other stuff as well to make them even happier. Um, but then there'll be another row down here once we've upgraded the house. In fact, let's see what else we can upgrade. We can upgrade you. And you. So already now we can supply them with more stuff. In that case, uh, materials, which can be planks, stone, iron, or reinforced plank. Clothing! Uh, which will require cloth and stuff like that, which is a whole thing, and other stuff as well. So there's, there's plenty of means to be happy, but to be honest, is um, you don't really need a huge amount of happiness. You just need enough. It's not as if you need to supply them with four different types of things so early on. Um, yeah, next level of base upgrade will be uh, wagon wheels. So now we need to start the wagon wheel industry, which is a whole thing, but it's not too bad. Um, so long as I put a workshop, which is what we're going to do, Right near the, the lumber mill, we should be okay. We've got enough cash. The workshop is... Well, we don't really need this to do many things. I think it's just the wagon wheels at first. But it'd be nice to put it somewhere where we'll be able to double up on things and make something else at the same time. Um, can we put it... I mean, that's really close. I think I'm going to put it there. We can always move things. So let's make some wooden wheels. So instead of taking the planks back to base, let's do that. What are you? Oh, you're going somewhere else. Like, you apparently, oh, you're the, the basic wood guy. You are the one who's... I'm going to let you supply planks over here, so we've got some stuff in common storage. I think that's, that's fair enough. Now we'll slowly but surely start making wooden wheels, which will allow us to make an upgraded version of the carrier carrying stuff. Wagons. So I think for this one, um, yeah, I th I'll just have a lad here taking it back to... Well, yeah, just do it to base for now. There we go. So for every wagon we build, we need, f I think it's four wheels, but we also need a bunch of other stuff as well. And we need ten planks and forty quid. So, and also want, um, you, you use up a person as well. But we've got plenty of spare now. And we've got plenty of planks. Money-wise, isn't great. We'll be able to make a couple of wagons. Let's see what we've actually got in base. We've already got four wheels, so we can make one wagon. That'll probably be good for... Well, let's see what's... Oh, look at the output on this. Yes. Okay. That's got ten output. It's full. We do need something. So that can go to there. You. I'm going to fire you. You're not needed here. Uh, we do, we'll need to make a path, a stone path, uh, which is not unlocked yet. Uh, we need a stonemason. Can we do a stonemason yet? Yes, we can. 
We'll put that near the stone, unsurprisingly. There, now we can build a road. Stone bricks. Yeah, I think roads need bricks, don't they? Which is a pain. Right, so anyway, you can now do that. Are you the only stone guy at the moment? Hmm. Huh. We'll change that. And we also need a guy taking the bricks back to base. We need four... Oh god, we need four bits of stone for every brick. That's going to take a bit of time. So let's add a yet another guy to the capacity. We can build four more houses. I'm going to build the houses somewhere else next. Kind of like them... Um, well, I don't know really. It's got to be within range of the market. I mean, it could be over there. We're now starting to get to the stage where we can afford to build bridges. Because we need... I think um, to cross here, I think requires something in the region of 30 planks. And we've got 35. So that'll be very helpful indeed. But I still feel like we're not making enough money. The, the yellow coin su um, supply is not very good. So I do think houses would be good. I'm trying to work out where we're going to buy next. That's actually, that's actually a big, fat, flappy bit of land. So I don't want to like block that off with houses here. Um, also, I don't, want to, I don't think we're going to build a bridge across here, so let's build a house... Oh, that's turning off the hood. Let's build a couple of houses down here. I might even lower this land. There are spuds here, which is a bit peculiar. And also, yeah, it'll, it'll cost money to lower that land, but that can be a future housing land. I don't, I'm not even going to bother putting paths here, because they'll just live there contentedly, supplying us with cash every so often. The grain situation is getting very low, though. So we will need to find another source. They'll probably be... Well, the next sensible source. Kind of here-ish, I guess? That's actually, there's actually quite a lot of it. We might be able to build a chute, but... Pff, all the way to the market. But that might be a bit speculative. So I don't know. So in this first episode, we have actually created quite a nice little settlement. Um, um, we've filled it up, though. This little island sort of area. We've kind of filled up, so things are going to get a bit cramped. Um, as we build, start building a lot of stuff. I've discovered that your settlement does get absolutely immense quite quickly. Um, and yeah, this is not going to cut it. But this this area is about right for our starting zone. We've got eight houses now, so we've got eight happiness. Um, um, the, um, the whole sort of like um, level two thing. I mean, yeah, we can't get any more happiness out of those until we start supplying them with additional materials um, from a different sort of market. So let's try and do that. Let's just finish things off by building a couple of extra... Things. I don't, I'm not 100% sure we can do this until we've upgraded the base, which we can now do. Can we build a general market? A general store? Yes, yes we can, but we do need 100 quid. So then we'll be able to make these guys even happier. But we will need to keep on supplying the general market with wood or stone bricks. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a whole thing. But at least, yeah, things are going quite nicely. And we can also, now we've actually got some stone bricks on the go, we can build our first road. Uh, which will be from here. Requires... Oh god, it's a, there's a little lumpy bit there. Yeah, there's a lumpy bit. Let's de-lump. If we can. Let's see if we can actually reduce this. Sadly not... Oh, there we go. Done it. That means we can actually build the road. That's a path. There. Actually, thinking about it, we could also probably do with... There. Now, once that thing start, stopped fanning around, hopefully it'll lose the... There we go! Much faster. Although, it didn't really matter too much because there's not much lumber in here. Well, I think we can change that. I think we need more people on the case over here. We've got loads of capacity now. We've got loads of people. And that should get us in wood in no time. Cool, okay, so we'll stop here, and um, next time we've, we've got a lot to do. We've got to, ideally we make a lot of money and build, um, buy this, but that might take a bit of doing. We need, a, we need a way of getting a lot of money faster. I think it's going to be a case of upgrading our houses and selling better stuff, so we will need that general store. So we'll pick this up again uh, next time. Uh, we'll play this as long as people are interested. Um, and if you're not subscribed, uh, do so now, and make sure you turn on notifications for Randomised User so you know when the next episode lands. Um, and see you next time. Bye for now.